fine, Mr. Moyana. Thanks for asking, eh? Uh, so I'm afraid we have a bit of a challenge here. You see, according to records, um... Neither Emerald nor Nelson Moyana exist. Now they say those names are fictitious. So I'm saying I need more time to locate them. But uh, as things stand now, it could be a very long time before we can locate them. Mendoza, the state will be interested to know you're going to spend your freedom once you release you from this facility. The state should be more concerned about the deteriorating standard of healthcare and rising unemployment in this country. I hope you fully understand the terms and conditions of your early release. I hope you fully understand that it's been a year since I had a hot bath. Why don't you save that bureaucratic nonsense for some other day? I can come maybe Sunday and we can have a chat all day. Remember to report to the police station once every fortnight. Thank you, Warden. I wish I could say we had fun together, but I'm sure even you should find you quite unwell. I have this funny feeling of seeing you back here soon. I have a funny feeling your wife will get a second husband real soon. Daddy, I'm home. Don't call me that. You're not my daughter. My daughters don't go around robbing people and killing. Daddy, I'm sorry. I'm not your father. We have got no relationship whatsoever. I hey? made a mistake and I'm sorry. I've paid my price to the community. Really? That's funny. Because I never got any cent. You think the family whose father you killed, you think they have him back now? I didn't know what I said again. You were part of the gang that robbed people every day. Now you stand there claiming that you don't know that you had a gun. I've done a year in prison. The reason they released me early is because I didn't have anything to do with the murder of the old white man. Get out of my house, Thirsty. Where the hell am I supposed to go? To hell if you want to. Frankly, I can't care any less. Terence, there's something I don't understand about these figures. Last month or third, Falcon Logistics made a transfer into our Fed bank account for the three adverts we did for them. But you know what's funny? The money reflected on the day and disappeared after two days and reappeared after two weeks. Alexa, I'm sick when I'm not sick. I'm sick and tired of your nonsense. 
first you barge into my office without being invited. You call me Terence. For the love of God, I'm your father. Show some respect. You're my father. The last time I checked my last name, it was Kumalu, not Moyana. Now, as I was saying, something really don't make sense with these figures. Alexi! Terence, we've been through this before. You are married to my mother, but I'm not your daughter. What is wrong with you? What's wrong with me? I'll tell you what's wrong with me. You know, Austin and I had a good thing going on. But she took that away from us. And I thought I would never forgive you. But I did. And you had the nerve to cheat on my mother with my best friend. You disgusted me. That's what's wrong with me. I didn't know she was your best friend. And that's supposed to make it feel alright? I don't think so. So where are you going? Out. For lunch. It's only 11 o'clock. Breakfast then. Or call it what you want. And Terence, I hope you remember that there's an AGM coming up in a few months. Yes, um, you have to? Uh, sure. Um, I'm looking for some money from the search. I went to your house and I was refilled. Yeah. I'll take a seat. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She doesn't live there anymore. Actually, she moved a few years back. Oh, do you have any chance of having to know where I can find him? No, no, I don't. Do you mind if I ask you what you're looking for? My name is Austin Mayan. I'm just gonna find my notes. She happens to be my mother. Your name is Austin. Yep, that's what I just said. <laughs> oh my god, Austin. <laughs> you're so grown up. I mean, you're a big boy now. She look great. Your mother's gonna be happy to see you again. Oh, really? Your mother lives in your own world now. The Lord knows she deserves it. And how's that? My sister struggled a lot to raise me. I asked now why your father suddenly accepted responsibility and decided to take you. I mean, he'd been denying. For what? Two years? 
And then all of a sudden you decide to take it. <laughs> Listen, Andrew. I mean, she had a fire it was right around three, four years ago. What I want to know is, it's not from my roots, it's not from my mother. She lives in Westgate now. She got married to a great man some five years ago. Oh, that's great. Are you going to address or something? <laughs> she lives a very quiet life. And she doesn't really appreciate what it is. And to say, I'm a son. Exactly. Austin, why now? Why are you looking for her now? It's been 24 years. Could be asking the same question. How come she never looked for me for 24 years? How come she never even kept fire that I was doing? Because the world belongs to the rich and powerful Austin. You've been to our house. That's where your mother used to live. She was neither rich nor powerful. She never looked for you because she lost you in the court of justice and was arrested three times for trying to kill her. I guess we'll be seeing a lot of each other, partner. We're well, looking for Gary, man. I'll quit straight away should they ever try to partner me with you. There's no such luck. No, I guess it's just the pride talking. After a few days, we just psh, down to air, then we'll work just fine. Right. So what do you think? Then obviously you don't get it. I mean, you just don't get it, man. My grandmother warned me about this. It's always difficult working with people who think they know it all. <laughs> grandmother? You're such an interesting fellow, aren't you? Do you know what your problem is, Clay? You think you're God's gift to the police force. I mean, you walk into my office, raw is here from the police academy, acting all high and mighty. I mean, you already think you know it all. You just wait until some little rascal pops the bullet into your chest, and then maybe you'll realize that there's a lot more to this job than these mere smart answers of yours. Well, I remember that. But do you know what your problem is? It's the usual, I've been in the game for donkey years, I'll keep the police force to myself kind of nonsense. It's old fashioned crap. Now you'll be careful what you ask for, young cop. You might just get it. There you go again. Blow in another fuse. I think you just can live with the fact that young guys like me are coming up and can do the job just as well, or even much better. I see. So you are saying um, you're the better cop. I mean, you're trying to tell me that uh, you can do this job better already. Well, in that case, um, Detective Clive John. You can have the whole freaking department yourself and see if I can. After all, who's prepared to work with a stupid punk like you? I mean, just, just, just take a look at yourself, man. Tonight. I don't know. Don't worry about me. I must survive. I'll take care of myself. You seem like a nice person. Don't let these good looks fool you. If I was a nice person, or they've never gone to prison, I would still be in my father's good grace. You know. We used to have fun together. 
would go watch football matches, fishing. But hey, I gave that up. What if I want to help? You know, get a job, an apartment, that kind of thing. What do you say? Thanks, but no thanks. I don't take charity. Well, if you don't think it's charity, you could put up at my place tonight. What's your name again? Alexa. But you can call me Lexi. Everyone else does. Alexa, what do you want from me? Kesti, you just got out of jail. You look like hell. You got nothing. You don't even have a place to stay. What could I possibly want from you? I don't know, Princess. It makes me wonder why a girl like you, who is living the life, would pick up an ex con buy her food that most people have in their fantasies. What's your point? You're offering to help me get a job. You're asking me to come and sleep over at your house. But you barely know me. People are never nice unless they want something. What do you want, Princess? First of all, I'm not a princess. And you? You went to jail because you committed a crime. You're out now, and if you expect the world to feel sorry for you, then you must be living in the wrong planet. Don't judge me. You don't know me. Dear God, I don't know what Austin is thinking right now, but I know for sure he wishes his mom was around. I don't know what goes on in Lucas's mind, but I know for sure he wishes his mom was around. We have different mothers, but we are a family now. Dear God, help us to live like a family. I hope I'm not disturbing. You're not. I mean, you are. You were praying. How do you always know? What else do you do if you're not writing? You don't look too good. Are you okay? I hate how Mom and Lucas relate. I hate how she talks to him. The way he answers her back, everything. I hate how everything has turned out. How is that? Well, the story is like this. Austin and Lucas' mom passed away. And I think it should be up to us to help them get over it. But not with Ma around. She keeps reminding them that she's dead and that she was a prostitute. Lena, even if she was a prostitute, telling it to her children is not going to change anything, is it? Sammy, I've lived in this world for a very long time to know that their mother was not a prostitute and she's not dead. Excuse me? Well, Lucas' mom is late, yes, but not Austin's. They're brothers. 26 years ago in Mufakos, a 15-year-old girl got pregnant. Lena, is this another story you want me to write? Because if it is, I'm done writing. I have seven books and none of them published. That's probably enough for today. I've got to go. How do you know the things you always say? I know a lot of things, Simone. A lot of things. Morning, ma'am. Uh, my name is Austin Mayana. I'm trying to look at almost a little bit at your school. Her name was uh, Samantha Masonche. She was a pet from back in 82. That's 26 years ago. I'm not sure what kind of help you're looking for, because 26 years ago, I was only two. I, I know, ma'am. I just thought maybe you could have some documentation as in, I mean, how to track her. If they're late, I'm not sure if they're going to be easy to locate. I mean, like, who would know where to find documentation from 26 years ago? Ma'am, um, it's quite important to me. I'm even willing to pay the price for it. Pay for what exactly? For the trouble you would encounter in, in trying to locate all that information. It's that important, huh? You know, this lady happens to be my mom. She was expelled from your school and she got pregnant with me. And I haven't seen her almost all of my life. Well, 
My mobile is 0912-740-856. What's your name, man? Thank you.